Um, I graduated from Texas State. Um, and I was like, well, what's the biggest and best employer of San Marcos? Well, Texas State. Um, so I applied. I, I dedicated myself to getting a job there, and I have. And I've uh, worked in a couple of different positions. Uh, worked in housing, and now I work for uh, McCoy Business College. Um, and I'm an admin. You know, I've been both a student and now, now a resident of San Marcos, and it's 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 a strange um, like place to be in because there's not a whole lot of us um, that you know that go to school here that choose to stay here. The topic right now is, you know, that they're going to the local businesses downtown. You know, hey, we want to buy you out because, you know, we want to put more, you know, living spaces for the students and this and that and. Of course, I'd be a little upset if they came over here and told me, hey, man, we want to buy you out because we want to put more housing for the students. I mean, that would, to me, I'd be like, well, where do I go? Where, where's my business going to roll? And, you know, I got to go further out, you know, out in the country. It really seems that San Marcos has a really hard time, like, attracting not only businesses, but, like, like good businesses that that I think, you know, younger 18 to 25 year olds want to stay here in the, the area for, you know, because if typically if you're living here, like you're either living here to work in Austin or you're living here to work in San Antonio. Unprecedented move. I-35 was shut down in both directions early this morning as the Blanco River rose over the lanes near San Marcos. Today marks the one-year anniversary of the deadly Memorial Day weekend floods. You know, for me, like, yeah, I lost my car, but, you know, look at people that live there on River Road or, you know, Blanco Village, they, they lost everything. My family members live up and down uh, Conway and Broadway and Barber Drive, and uh, they got hit pretty hard. And so I was I was a little upset because to see my family go through that and being rescued on a boat and stuff like that really it really freaked me out. During Mother Nature's rampage, some worry people made it worse. Neighbors in San Marcos believe a construction project made the Memorial Weekend flooding even more damaging. And now the city will hire an independent hydrologist to see if that's true. They brought in their own specialist, and the specialist said, no, it, it doesn't matter. It didn't matter that that giant apartment complex was there. Um, it didn't matter. Um, it would have flooded anyways. And then somebody brought in, I, I can't remember who it was, but another person months later brought in their own private, non, not owned by the city, not by anybody. And no, they straight up were like, absolutely not. The Woods apartment complex explicitly made a blockage for that water for it to have to go somewhere because it got to go somewhere. Everything's about, you know, oh, if they wouldn't have put this for the students, it wouldn't have happened. We don't know. I mean, theoretically, it makes sense, but we don't really know that. <laughs> I feel like San Marcos is still kind of trying to figure out its identity. Are we a college town and that's it? Or are we a town that has a college? writings on the wall we are a college town through and through and like it, it makes I hate that that has like a bad connotation to it but it has a bad connotation to it because there's more than just you know people that are going to be here three or four years 12 years ago said to my wife I think I'm going to try it and open up my own and see what it does you know that was my one of my bucket lists to, to own my own business and I told her even if it's five years I'm, I'm, I mean 
I'm happy. If anything happens after that, great. If it doesn't and I get to five years, I've accomplished what I wanted. And then if I have to go work for somebody else again, then it is what it is. Uh, but going on 12 years now and it's great. When I opened up my shop, I told myself that's that's one of the reasons why I'm going to open up my shop. I'm going to open it so I can surround myself with with great people that are going to take care of my business so I can, the other half of my kids, I don't miss the opportunities of going and seeing them in their, in their sports that they do. And uh, because I did miss a lot of my older kids' childhood and that's one of my biggest regrets that I was tied into this company that I could not, I mean, I was working from six in the morning to nine, 10 o'clock at night. Uh, my family is at Roots here and I would like to stay here, you know. So, um, just gotta keep fighting the good fight. So I think be more mindful and just, you know, think about staying here a while, so.